Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, this is the thing about me, man. I'm always going to keep it a buck. At all times, I'm always going to keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? First, we're going to talk about some Eagle business before we talk about how I feel like the division took a real step forward and being one of the best divisions in football. We, we, we potentially probably went from the NFC lease to just the NFC about the feast east. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we turned into, you know, we turned into like, we turned into a problem for whatever anybody in the division face. Pro you, you know what I mean? I feel like the division got better in the off season. I'll explain why. But first let's talk about, you know, some of Doug's comments during his presser. Um, you know, this will be a little bit of a late upload. It was a blackout in my area. I had to deal with that. X, Y, and Z had to stay on the ball with stuff like that. You know, I make sure the crib's safe and all that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's been copying a Lord Brunson merch. You know what I'm saying? The, the LB hoodies will go on a crazy sell right before the, uh, the start of the season. You know what I'm saying? These hoodies, this is the original stamp of approval, but we're going to have some other drinks with a small logo right above the chest. Those are turning into my favorites. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that's been ordering them too. But it's going to be a sell for those. I'm going to have a code that's going to be available for the members first. Then the code going to be available for everybody. It's going to be for the whole opening week of football, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do it that way. I want to talk about Doug talking about, you know, Greg Ward Jr., you know, basically earning his time. You know what I'm saying? Greg Ward Jr. basically um, proving that he that he deserves to be in his starting rotation. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a real different look from Greg, for Greg Ward Jr. coming in. Um, he's looked at as somebody that some of these young dudes can learn from. You know what I'm saying? And, and with that, you know, with, with with great power comes great responsibility, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a quote from Spider-Man late uncle. That's a quote from Peter Parter late uncle, Uncle Ben. With great power comes great responsibility. You know what I'm saying? And I think that Greg Ward showed that he possesses power to be a starting wide receiver. And he also has a responsibility to help bring some of these young guys along so everybody could be better. You know what I'm saying? I always go back to, you know... um, Hard knocks when the Cleveland Browns was on there. And Landry held the whole wide receiver room accountable, saying if guys not hurt, they need to be practicing. Because if guys are sitting on the sidelines and they're not hurt and they're still not practicing, they're risking other teammates going out there getting hurt due to overworking when they could be taking the breather and a healthy body could be getting some of them reps and experience. It all comes down to stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um... Greg Ward, earned, he earned his time. You know what I mean? He earned his time. You know, he's probably the most comfortable wide receiver in training camp with Carson Wentz right now. He's probably the most comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that speaks volumes to a guy who only started, what, like four or five games last season? And he's the most comfortable with Carson Wentz in training camp. You know what I mean? Him and Carson built a great rapport. So I expect that to, you know, progress into the second year of uh, Greg Ward and Carson Wentz. You know what I'm saying? I, I expect that to get stronger, that bond to get stronger. This lets me believe one more thing could be possibly happening. That some of these rookie wide receivers aren't taking the huge leap if Greg Ward, a, a guy off the practice squad... Is, is automatically being talked about in terms of gaining some time. He earned the time, but at the same time, I feel like that his God-given talent at the position was overlooked for a reason. It was overlooked because he didn't show certain things, but in games he showed certain things. Some dudes don't practice well, but on on film and in, in a game time situation, they turn into an all-pro wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that Greg Ward is an all-pro, but I'm saying Greg Ward showed enough to get this time and is well-deserved. So let's give a nice round of applause for Greg Ward, man. I'm happy for the brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for him. You know what I'm saying? Um, the time is deserved. He showed to be good in the outs on the outside and in the slot. You know what I mean? And I'm happy for him. You know, uh, and other news, man. You know, the Dallas Cowboys uh, acquired a real dangerous piece. Everson Griffin. I'm not going to be one of these guys and tell y'all that he don't got nothing in the tank left because he going to Dallas. Dude had eight sacks last year. This is a good pickup for anybody. You know what I'm saying? I wanted Everson Griffin. I'm not mad about the pickup, but at the same time, I feel like I feel like that this affects the Eagles in terms that you really need Andre Dillard to show you that he can block. You can't move him. You can't, you can't have him run away from Tank Lawrence because Everson Griffin is going to be on the other edge. You see what I'm saying? The Dallas Cowboys, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Washington football team definitely have a case 
for best defensive lines in the NFL. And they all play in the same division. You know what I'm saying? They definitely got a case for it. Now, I believe the Philadelphia Eagles got the better offensive line of the three teams. I do. You know what I mean? I believe that our defensive line is going to be able to take advantage of the Dallas Cowboys offensive line more than the Dallas Cowboys defensive line is going to be able to take advantage of our offensive line. So I believe the move of Everson Griffin offsets in terms of the two times we play each other. You know what I mean? I don't think it helps them anymore. You know what I'm saying? And in terms of the two times we play each other, but at the same time, it helps them against the other teams that they play. They got other teams who bones they'll be able to feast on and blow them out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying we need no help against we need we need we need other teams to beat them because we're gonna take care of our business in our two meetings. But at the same time, if they're gaining momentum, you know what I'm saying? And that goes for anybody. If anybody's gaining momentum and beating up on people that they're supposed to beat up on, and then they beat some of the teams that will be a challenge, then that's just, you know, that's just all trending in the right direction for, for a lot of teams. And I feel like that. I feel like that, you know, we have to be able to make sure that we're bringing Andre Dillard along and letting him know that, listen, you were a first round pick. This is your second season. Now it's time for you to show and prove that you are the Andre Dillard that we drafted. You know what I'm saying? I hope my Lotta comes back too. I thought my Lotta was going to be able to, you know, show something as well. Um, it was brilliant in bringing Jason Peters back. Bringing back Jason Peters now looks amazing. You know what I'm saying? It looks amazing because Jason Peters can block Everson Griffin. You know what I'm saying? Jason Peters is one of the strongest left tackles in the game. So now bringing back JP, I want to know what y'all got to say about that now. I love to pick more and more. You know what I'm saying? It was just a great, it was a great pickup by the Dallas Cowboys. And I feel like that we played the proper chest and bringing back Jason Peters ahead of time. Now it happened because Brooks went down, but I knew it was going to happen regardless. You know what I mean? I just think it was a solid move on our behalf. And this was a damn good move by the Dallas Cowboys on their behalf. At the end of the day, the division got better. The division got better and that's something exciting to look forward to. I can't wait for football to start, you know what I'm saying? And and I can't wait I can't wait for our offensive line to be put to the test. I like my offensive line's odds against the Dallas Cowboys pass rush, just like I always like them against the Redskins pass rush. You know, the key word for this, ladies and gentlemen, the key word for this is on paper. Everybody looks scary on paper. Except us, right? They never talk about us looking scary on paper, but we always come out on top somehow when it's all said and done. So I'm not worrying about what nobody pick up. I'm not worrying about Dallas Cowboys fans that I know texting me, oh, we got Everson Griffin, we got this. They do that with everybody they get. They got to materialize into wins on the field. Once I see them looking like some juggernauts, then I'll give it up. But until then, we the juggernauts. And I, we're going to continue to be the juggernauts. It is what it is. Like I said, man, you know, shout out to Greg Ward for earning more playing time. And shout out to the division for getting better. We're adding Everson Griffin. I like competition. You know what I'm saying? I like competition. I think a move like this helps put us in the direction of people putting respect on our name. And stop calling us what they calling us. The NFC least negative. You know what I'm saying? We're the only division in football where everybody got a ring. And so far, we look like the, the, we look like the division that did the most in the offseason as a whole. Let me know what you think in the comments.